In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We thank the Lord for another opportunity to share His Word as I welcome you all to Monday of the 23rd week in Ordinary Time, Year 2. And the theme of our reflection today is Sin and Complacency. As poisonous and injurious as sin is to every human soul, it gets worse when it mixes with complacency, which of course gives rise to the loss of the sense of sin. And while reflecting on our first reading of today, I saw like through a mirror, a society like ours in Corinth, the complacency of the Corinthians worried Paul as he should worry us now in our time. He was concerned about the silent approval of all over an openly sinful relationship even among Christians in the church at Corinth and that the toleration of, of this weakens the spiritual immunity of the church and of course of any society or community. And Paul mentions a few of these abominable relationships in his letter to, to the Corinthians, one of which we heard from our first reading of today, of a man having sexual relationship with his father's wife. And I said to myself, how I wish Paul was alive today to see that that was even evil on a lower scale or degree, if there is anything like that. That people now practice homosexuality in gayism and lesbianism, and bestiality, incest, and vehemently argue for its legalization through rallies and protests. And of course, such abominable acts have gained popularity, so much so that either consciously or unconsciously we have been made to, to see it as normal just like the, the Corinthians. And anyone who speaks against it is tagged phobic or hateful. The fact is, nobody hates you. Nobody hates anybody. And that is just clearly an appeal to pity. We all are pilgrims on earth, making every day count towards heaven. The fact is that those acts are intrinsically evil as many others, that we have the moral duty, we all have the moral duty to speak against. And we have the responsibility also of discouraging, of course with equal vehemence, the resolve never to repent from such, and the push to force people to accept it. And this of course reflects even more than what Paul condemns in the first reading of today. Like Paul, therefore, I enjoy enjoying all those who indulge themselves in any form of immorality, adultery, fornication, I don't think you are left out, to cleanse out the old leaven through self-mortification, recognition of the evil in them, and get help, confide in, in people who could help, work towards getting out of these abominable relationships. Many have given testimonies of how they stopped practicing them. So why should yours be different? And of course, cement it all in prayers. So that at the end, and now I'm quoting directly from Paul, we can celebrate the festival with unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. May God help us, have mercy on us, and forgive us our sins through Christ our Lord. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.